Throughout May and into June, the three craters of Krakatoa continued to emit jets of steam. The gases caused strange blue and green colorations to the sun. They were considered harmless by the inhabitants, the volcano being some 30 miles from the coast. Life continued as normal. Joanna Berink was later interviewed by the Dutch authorities. It seemed the tremors were getting worse every day. But my husband Willem wouldn't listen. He was becoming increasingly preoccupied with his business affairs. bersama anak kamu. Yang kecil sedang bersarapan pagi. Saya mau telur tetapi. Ayam tidak bertelur, Nyonya. Apa maksud kamu? Apakah jadi dengan mereka? Tidak ada apa-apa, Nyonya. Uh, there is nothing wrong. Uh, things are being uh, confused, out of balance. The animals know. They're leaving. As controller of the district, Willem Bering was responsible for the safety and well-being of all the people. He was kept fully informed about the developments on Krakatoa, yet did nothing. It seems he was preoccupied by other matters. with my license, Chuan. I thought the contracts were... Contracts are in order, Chuan. It's just... My man couldn't get the coolies for the pepper harvest, that's all. So the money? I need more time. I had your word. The word of a Dutchman. Just... Just give me three weeks until the harvest. I'm a businessman, Mr. Bejerik. I have a license and obligations. Perhaps your colleagues in Batavia would be interested to know how much you owe me. How dare you. Slumbered under the mountain. Now I wake, and they must learn what it is to earn the wrath of the spirit of the mountain. <laughs> Asked whether the weather, she'll erupt? No. She'll kick off for a few days and then go back to sleep. Well, I think you're wrong. Why? Have you noticed the animals? 
animals. They're behaving very strangely. The monkeys and the birds won't settle in the trees. The, the hens won't lay. Well, wouldn't that affect your opinion? No. Well, I think it should. The natives have long believed the mountain to be very dangerous. I hardly think that native superstition qualifies... Maybe it isn't superstition. Maybe they understand the mountain better than you do. I'm sorry, it just seems to me that you're ignoring the... Shame on you. A scientist. I realized far too late that I should have listened to her. Stuck by nightfall. I'm leaving with the tide. Aye, aye, sir. At 10 a.m. that Sunday, Captain Lindemann docked at Anya to pick up a consignment of Chinese workers, or coolies as we call them. Their destination was Talok Batong to the north. It was a journey they'd never complete. All right, move it up down here. And let's stop getting down that Come on. Captain Lindemann, a word if you please. Bridge is yours, sir. What is the meaning of loading the ship with coolies? They're for control of bearing. I don't care if they're for the King of Holland. They stink. Captain Lindemann, mm -hmm. the coolies. They bother you. They stink. You ever thought what we smell like to them, huh? Hmm, maybe they're right. Right about what? Corpses. They think we smell like the dead. Good day, gentlemen. This is unacceptable. The northerly course that Lindemann steered would take him closer to the volcano than anyone else that day. Need to change course, Mr. Jensen. Aye, sir. Change course. Take a bearing from Palau Son Yang. Set a course for Lampong Bay. 191 degrees. Place a BC out on the port side and into the bay from here. Jensen! Aye, sir. Steering course 191 degrees.
you doing? I'm measuring the height of the ash cloud. It's basic mathematics. But what is it that you do? I try to understand the world, how it works. Do you understand the volcano? It's a complex geological process. It was formed millions of years ago, before man. My people, we are not afraid of the volcano. I didn't want to go to the festival. Willem tried to calm me. The market opening would be a joyous occasion. I was convinced that something dreadful was going to happen. Karim, see past the car. Then go work at Kusalama. Look on the book. Look at my record. 